Hey guys, I'm Lauren Thomas, host of Simp Locker Most Wanted, and this week I'm going to be whipping up a Baron Noodles recipe. Last year I was fortunate enough to travel to Attacoke in Ontario, Canada to harvest my first ever black bear. Since I truly believe that you should only hunt whatever it is you're going to eat, I wasted no time at all getting that 400 pound boar to the processor. Now, not only did I want some breakfast sausage and some summer sausage made, but one of the items I knew I had to have back were a couple of really nice sized roasts. Once I got my barrel home, I called up my friend Jennifer Tao for her infamous recipe. So here it goes. The first thing you're going to want to do is take your bear and soak it in buttermilk for about a day. The point of the buttermilk is any mild hint of gaminess that may be left in the bear, it will totally wipe it out. So once the bear is soaked for about a day, go ahead and drain away the buttermilk. And you don't have to, but what I like to do is go ahead and rinse the rest of the buttermilk off the roast. Now that you have the roast all rinsed off, go ahead and place it in the crock pot. I mean, how can you not love this recipe? Anything that you can make ahead of time, let sit all day, come home and it's basically ready, count me in. The next step for our berry noodles is to mix up our sauce. The sauce is going to be one can of cream of mushroom soup. One can of cream of chicken soup. I guess we can use cream of chicken since they haven't started making cream of bear soup yet. You're going to add in one large diced onion. One package of dry brown gravy mix. Uh, the beef gravy really does work the best. Next you're going to add in mushrooms. For your mushrooms, these can be canned mushrooms, they can be fresh mushrooms, uh, whatever you prefer, and really just as many as you like. The last thing I'm going to add in are my spices. Now, this is kind of where you get to make the recipe your own. Really add whatever your family likes and however much of it you like. Today, what I'm going to add is some salt, some black pepper, and some garlic powder. Once you have this all mixed up, all you have to do is just pour it over the top of the bear roast. The sauce is all mixed up and the only thing we have to do is pour it over our bear roast. We have all of our ingredients in our crock pot. We're going to let our roast cook on low for about 8 to 10 hours. But depending on the size of your roast, you may want to check it after about six. You'll know it's ready to go when you can put a fork in it and it really starts to fall apart. It's been 10 hours. Our bear roast has been cooking on low in our crock pot. It smells amazing. It looks amazing. And I gotta say, it tastes pretty good too. So to finish out our meal, we have one package of egg noodles cooking. And while that's finishing up, we're going to take the roast still in the crock pot and just shred it into some smaller pieces. And as you can see, it is just falling apart. That is exactly how you want it. Well, our noodles are cooked and our last step is just pour them in. Ooh, it's full. And we're going to add one 16 ounce container of sour cream. This is really going to richen it up like it wasn't rich enough. And it's going to also thicken your sauce so. Well, I would say that our Baron Noodles recipe has been a success.